Jaden Jefferson, and this week's Around T-Town brings me to Culture Clash Records, and joining me is Tim Friedman, the owner here. So thanks for joining me today. Thanks for coming in, Jaden. Thrilled to have you. I know the answer to this first question may be pretty obvious, but what is all here at Culture Clash Records? So about 95% of everything you're looking at is a 12 inch by 12 inch square that contains uh, music, uh, wild that I picked up Revenge of the Nerds soundtrack uh, as an example. Um, but yep, yeah, you're looking at music. Uh, we have uh, every record we can possibly find to sell and share with you. And it's definitely really a diverse musical store because you have so many different genres and so many different stories that are being told here. So why do you think it's important to have that diversity as far as the music here? So uh, you hit the nail on the head. What I have seen in my five plus years running Culture Clash is the age of the person walking through the door has become unpredictable. Uh, I'm not going to tell you that it's it's trended one way or another. The reality is it, it's become unpredictable. Record stores are not just where uh, dads go to buy Led Zeppelin records. Uh, record stores are where people go to find out, find something new, to find music that they feel personally attached to, that makes them feel seen or understood. I want to make sure you got it all. And I know you were just talking before the interview about, you know, how many new records that are here and songs that people are talking about, you know, dancing to and listening to. So it really is something that's pretty cool to see, especially young people, you know, people even my age that are coming and seeing all the different records. So what does that mean to you personally? It, it means so much. I, I felt like uh, such a weirdo as a, as a kid and as a teenager, um, you know, in the 90s and, and early aughts, record stores were kind of still fighting, uh, fighting for their lives before uh, the true uh, resurgence of vinyl really kicked in. I, I felt like those were the places that I felt like I, I could find uh, what I wanted to listen to, I could find something I wanted to see, I could find out who I was just by uh, exploring new things. It's really important to me to have a place where anyone can feel comfortable to come in look around, uh, you know, Google stuff on their phone while they're here because they have no idea what it is. Uh, but more importantly, to talk to us and say, what in the world is this? Uh, is this as cool as it looks? And, and we say, no, it's, it's not. But that one is, you know? <laughs> and I know already at my age, I'm already starting to find music that I enjoy listening to, which makes me curious. What's your musical taste? Uh, so I'm, I'm all over the place, as, as many people like Sounds to like say, me. sure. Um, but uh, I, I find that I like things to be really uh, interestingly percussive. Um, I'm not going to just say a, a genre or an artist, because what I have found in nearly 40 years of listening to music is what I go back to are uh, uh, drum beats and percussive uh, elements that are unique. Uh, this is a big reason why lately I've been uh, exploring a lot of African records um, for the beats uh, and unique rhythms there. I, I like a nice guy girl uh, vocal harmony. Um, you give me a nice little twee uh, band with, with dual vocalists and, and I'm all over that. Um, but man, um, yeah, I'll tell you, my record collection at home is, is honestly as diverse as you're seeing around here. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that you guys here at Culture Clash are really doing something special. Uh, you moved to a new location, uh, the former Paula Brown shop in downtown Toledo, and you have this new stage area where live performances are happening. So if people want to check those out and get connected to what's happening here at Culture Clash, how can they do it? Yeah, so uh, people have been asking for, for just about two years uh, when we're going to start using that stage and outside of uh, April's Record Store Day this year, where we had 17 live performances here. Um, we are going to uh, get back to in stores, bringing in live music as, as safely and comfortably as we can. So we do have some live music scheduled for uh, the month of August. Um, and with any luck, we will kind of keep that propelling uh, to at least a weekly tradition uh, here through the winter. And all of that can be found on cultureclashrecords.com. Uh, it may quickly uh, inspire you to look at our Instagram, we are where we are the most active, uh, but we will be launching our new web store at cultureclashrecords.com very soon. But again, 
we're going to at least get some people singing a couple songs on stage here in the next month. Well, I love all of it. And maybe I'll get on stage at some point. <laughs> well, Tim Friedman, owner here at Culture Clash Records, thank you so much for your time. Thanks so much, Shane. Really appreciate what you're doing. And that was a dangerous idea to encourage me to sing. I'm just no, going to... Now you're going to drop bars. We're making it happen. It might happen. The album, <laughs> the album's going to drop this ball. Yeah. I'll just put that as the tease. With this week's Around T-Town, I'm Jaden Jefferson.